Will Halo 3 on PC bring Halo back to the top again? Way before Halo MCC came to the PC, I know for a fact a lot of people who have been demanding for a Halo 3 PC version since 2007, which was 13 years ago. Fans have been begging for a Halo 3 PC version much as they did compared to Halo MCC PC version. Halo CE and Halo 2 were originally on PC and Halo Reach on the other hand wasn't the most loved Halo game. So there wasn't enough demand for that. Same goes for ODST. But the main question is will Halo 3 on PC bring Halo back? Short answer is it's a no. We all know Halo 3 is an amazing game like that game is literally near perfection. It's actually one of my favorite FPS games of all time. When Halo 3 comes to PC, it's going to blow up at launch, a lot of people will be playing it, a lot of big streamers will be playing it and giving it more exposure. Halo 3 is the most anticipated titles in the Halo Master Chief collection. But that doesn't really mean, you know, people will be playing Halo 3 on the PC for 24-7, nor it will be populated again. Because what you guys need to realise, this generation we are in, there are so many ridiculous games to play now. You have games like CSGO, PUBG, Fortnite, GTA 5, Rainbow Six, you know, Apex Legends, Destiny and Call of Duty. The list goes on and on and on. And these games would always have official updated content to provide something new to keep their fan base playing their games than Halo 3 will on the PC. And it's going to be very, very complicated for Halo 3 to compete with all these games in 2020. 343 won't do much to Halo 3 on the PC. Yes, I am aware they will add new things like having updated Forge items, which is dope, but that's all there is to it. And Halo 3 is a 13 years old game, and I don't even see T43 giving us official updated content for an old game, you know, which they didn't even make. If we really want to bring back the glory days of Halo again to make it trendy, then this is all on Halo Infinite. It's all up to 343. We want Halo Infinite to be greater than Halo 3. I know that sounds impossible, but imagine, just imagine having a new Halo title greater than Halo 3. That would be my dream Halo game. That would be your dream Halo game, right? Remember how we all felt with Halo C and Halo 2 and Halo 3 playing those games for the very first time? It felt so special because it was something that we never experienced in gaming before. And I want to have that special feeling again when playing a brand new Halo game. I want to go through that hype train again. You guys might disagree with what I'm about to say here, but Halo Infinite needs to succeed much as Halo 3 releasing on the PC. Just take a look at the Halo MCC for a second, alright? If you look at all these Halo games on the MCC, these are very, very old games we are playing. And I'm, all, I'm obviously not saying that was shit games, no. These games are, are amazing, they're, they're very, very, very good. But look at how old Halo C and Halo 2 are, they are like, what, almost 16, you know, around 18 years old and, and Halo Reach is like, is now 10 years old but wasn't the most loved Halo game. On the other hand, Halo 4 is, you know, is the most hated, hated Halo game, which is 8 years old. And Halo 3 is, is 13 years old. So when Halo 3 finally releases on PC, the population won't be around for long. It's going to decrease. And by no means I'm saying, oh, Halo 3 will die on PC and no one won't play it. No, I'm not saying that. You will have a lot of people still playing Halo 3 on the PC, regardless of what the population is. But my point is, it won't bring Halo back to the top again, like it did in 2007. I'd love to be proved wrong though. The people who will stick around playing Halo 3 on the PC will be the hardcore Halo fans. Only the hardcore Halo fans like myself will be playing Halo 3 on the PC for 24-7. But we shouldn't take that as a compliment if you guys think about it. Because I realised over the years the Halo franchise has been struggling so hard to introduce a lot of new players. Because new players don't want to stick around playing these old Halo games forever. They want to play something entirely new. So they move on to something, you know, play something else eventually. That's why I'm hoping for Halo Infinite becomes the best Halo game. And not only that I want Halo Infinite to become the best Halo game, but also becomes the best game overall it can possibly be. So new and old players will be playing Halo Infinite for 24-7 and the population for that game will increase rapidly if the game lives up to the hype, of course. Who knows, right? Halo, Halo Infinite has been in development for five years, you know, more than any other Halo game. It's on on a new engine so I am expecting a lot of good shit out of that game. I mean everyone is pretty much. So we will find out more about Halo Infinite in July which I am very excited for but at the same time I am also very nervous because the game can turn out to be a failure. It is quite saddening on how we don't even you know have a good sequel Halo game you know after Halo 3. Look how long it's been. You know Halo 3 coming to the PC will be epic for us Halo fans. I am very hyped up you know because we, we can finally finish the fight on the PC. 
but it doesn't mean it will bring back the glory days of Halo like how it was in 2007. You're not going to see Halo 3 dominating the Steam charts constantly in 2020. That's all on the next upcoming Halo title. I had people saying to me, you know, Halo 3 coming to the PC will bring Halo franchise back to the top again. And if you're one of those people, then you're setting yourself a massive disappointment. Look, if we want to see Halo 3 and MCC have a massive population, then 343 need to implement these main things. It needs to have a good launch, crossplay, custom game browser, and mod support. And mod support is a huge thing. I want to see the same level mod support like how we see from Halo Custom Edition, where the modded community can make a lot of solid content to keep the community thriving. And if 343, you know, add all of these things into the game, and then that's why I probably would say Halo is probably back on top again. However, 343 priority is Halo Infinite. So they're not going to give us you know, all of these things for the Halo MCC maybe, because they'll be too busy pushing out the content for Halo Infinite by the time the game comes out. And they should focus on pushing out official content for Halo Infinite because everybody will be playing that game when it comes out because it's a brand new Halo game and hopefully it's a good Halo game and a good game overall. Anyways, I think I said enough in this video. I probably missed some important parts out that I may not mention. So I do apologize, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video regardless and understood the things I've said. If you guys did, be sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video and leave a comment on your thoughts on Halo 3 coming to the PC. Uh, I do post a lot of Halo videos on my channel almost every week. And be sure to follow me on Twitch. I, I stream Halo on there almost every day. So go ahead and follow it and I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.